Hi, Pete here from Gorilla Canning, and in this video, I'm going to go through a detailed walkthrough of how to set up your Gorilla One can seamer right out of the box. So, first things first, let's go through what comes in the box. You've got your can seamer, you've got a set of mounting bolts to mount it to a work surface, a roll lever which we'll need to attach to the machine, uh, a drill conversion screw, and a bag of spare washers and shims along with some paperwork and instructions. So the first thing we want to do is mount the seamer to a work surface. To do this you need to select a suitable work surface, a suitable place on it and then drill four holes in the work surface to allow the mounting bolts to go through. Okay so mounting your can seamer. The first thing we want to do is drill four holes in your workbench either eight or nine millimeters in diameter. Now to get these holes in the right position, just place the can seamer where you want to mount it and then mark through the holes with a Sharpie or a pencil so you know the correct positions to drill the holes. Once that's done, you can place the can seamer over the holes and use a 13 millimeter spanner and a five millimeter Allen key to mount the four bolts. Now, if we take a closer look at the mounting bolts, you'll see that three of the bolts have two washers on, a small washer and a penny washer. And then one of the bolts just has the one washer on. This odd one out with the one washer, that is the mounting bolt to go through the support arm here. So take the bolt Put it through there and through the bench and then on the other side we first apply the washer and then the nut. For the next three we take the bolt, the smaller washer, we mount it and then penny washer at the bottom followed by the nut. And then you do that four times and tighten them up. That's the seamer mounted securely to the bench. You shouldn't have any play in it. You should just be able to now use it without it slipping around. Next thing to do, attach the roll lever to the roll plate here. It simply just screws in like so. It should stay fairly tight just doing it up by hand. You can also add a little bit of Loctite if you wish. Okay, finally, I'm gonna just take off this tape which holds the base plate and the spaces in place. Now we're almost ready to seam our first can. We just have to select the correct can size for the spacer we're using. So it comes as standard with the base plate, 440 mil spacer and 330 mil spacer. So the way this works, super simple. As standard with all the spacers on, you can fit a 330 can in. And then you just take the top one off 40 mil. Next one off, so you've just got the base plate, and then a 500 mil can will fit on like so. So to begin with, let's put both of these spaces back on. So that's set for 330 mil cans, and we'll get going and seam a couple of 330 mil cans. Okay, so let's seam a can. We're going to seam a 330ml can. I just filled it with sparkling water for this demo. Put the lid on top and then put the can onto the base plate. Now turn the lower lever to engage the can into the chuck. You'll start to feel some resistance just before the lever gets to 90 degrees and then keep pushing and then the can will lock into place when the lever won't turn anymore. It goes just past 90 degrees. Now the principle of seaming the can is to spin the can, which we'll be doing manually, 
And then while spinning the can, we need to perform both operations, number one and then number two. So take it nice and slow, very easy. Start spinning the can. And then you need to pull the roll lever towards you like so. Now I've just very gently pushed on the roll lever while spinning the can. It's never been difficult to turn the can. The chuck's never slipped inside the lid, just all very gently. The roll adjustment screw here, little silver screw, that's now come into contact with the body of the seamer. And that's when I know the first operation is complete and I do a few more revolutions. And then to finish the seam, we need to do the same thing, but with operation number two. So rotating the can, this operation requires a little bit more pressure. And then again, I've just applied pressure constantly to the roll lever here. And the roll adjustment screw is butted up against the body of the seamer. So a few more revolutions again, and then that's it. We can take the can out like so, and then that's a, that's a nicely seen can. Okay, let's do one more can a bit quicker this time. This time we'll do a 440 mil can. So we'll just take the 330 mil spacer off. Put the lid on the can. Can is in place. Now first operation. Done. Now second operation. That's done. Okay, and that's it. Please check out our other videos for more details of how to adjust and maintain the machine, but that should get you going with seaming cans.